Hi, short movie recapped here. I'm going to explain a movie called Satanico Pandemonium from Mexico, released in 1975. In the opening scene, it shows a beautiful nun named Sor Maria. Maria is a nun who just graduated from school. She was in a plantation and was picking some flowers there. Suddenly she accidentally saw a naked man there. Mary who saw that then ran away from there and went to the statue of Mother Mary to forgive her sins. While praying from behind, a male voice called out to him. It turned out to be Marcelo, a boy who shepherded the monastery's sheep there. Marcelo said that their sheep gave birth to a lamb. Mary then saw the sheep that were there and tried to give a drink to one of the sheep. But she was surprised when she saw the reflection of her face in the water. It turned out to be the face of the man she met earlier. The man was already behind Maria, the man tried to get to know Maria by giving she an apple. The man's name was Luzbel or Lucifer. But Maria was frightened and fled from there to the monastery. The next day, the nuns were singing religious songs and after that they ate together. While Maria was eating, she saw the man she met yesterday. But suddenly the man disappeared and frightened Maria. And she realized that the man was not human. Maria then followed two black nuns in the cellar. There they talked about the treatment of senior nuns who treated them like slaves. They say that the difference in their skin color makes them discriminated against just like when they were outside. While Maria was praying in the room, Maria fantasized about the man she met. Maria then cried and apologized for it. He then whipped himself as punishment for his sin. Then two nuns came into her room and said that Maria was ordered by the senior nun to treat a sick cow. She then went to where the cow was and inspected it. It turned out that the cow was suffering from indigestion in its stomach and sent the two nuns away so that she focused on healing the cow. Maria then cleaned the cow's body and began to treat it. Because she was tired she fell asleep there. Luzbel suddenly appeared there and threw the apple he had eaten. Maria woke up and was shocked to see the apple, she was scared and ran from there. While in the room, she did not notice a nun hiding behind her bedroom door. Maria then took off her clothes and examined the wounds on her body due to the lashes on her body for penance. She then realized her nun friend was there and asked her what she meant by going into her room. The nun's name is Laura, she said that she liked Maria from the first time she met. Maria was shocked to hear that, Laura suddenly kissed her. Maria refused, but in the end she enjoyed what Laura did to her. Maria who was asleep, woke up because of the rain. She then asked for forgiveness for the sins she had committed. The next day, while Maria was praying, she was surprised to see a photo of the bishop turning into a demon. The frightened Maria then ran away from there and thought the man she met was a Lucifer. It was a day when Maria was outside with her mind boggled by Lucifer's influence. She came to Marcelo who was on the river bank. Maria tries to tease Marcelo by showing his legs in front of Marcelo. Marcelo was scared because of Maria's behavior, then he ran away from there. That night when Maria was in the room, a nun entered a room. The nun said she was in pain from the wound on her back. Maria tries to check it out, but Maria invites the nun to have sex with her. The nun refused and ran away from there, but Maria managed to stab the knife into the nun's back. Later when she was outside, she saw the other nuns praying. The nun prayed to God why she was treated like a slave there. After that she left, and Maria then followed where the nun went. It turned out that the nun wanted to end her life by hanging her neck from a rope. Maria who saw that smiled and pushed the nun to death. Maria then went out and headed for Marcelo's house. There she met Marcelo's grandmother and they were alone. Maria said she would check Marcelo's health, his grandmother invited Maria to see him. Maria who saw Marcelo felt horny and checked the surroundings. It turned out that Marcelo's grandmother had fallen asleep on the chair. Maria then took off all her clothes and started to fuck Marcelo. But Marcelo fought back and made Maria kill him with the knife that was there. Maria who was shocked by his actions dropped the candle that was there and burned the house. Maria then ran away from there. While in the room, suddenly two nuns came into his room and said that Marcelo's house was on fire. They also said 
that Marcelo and his grandmother died in the fire. Hearing that, Maria pretended to be sad and told the two nuns to go see their bodies. Maria got there and saw that Marcelo's hand was holding his necklace. She then tries to take the necklace, but the abbot finds out what Maria is doing. The head nun then became angry with Maria. But Maria says she did the right thing, and she is now equal to God. Hearing this the abbot cried and told Mary to repent. Maria realized what she had done, then she cried and begged God for forgiveness. But while he was praying, from his hand came a rope. Maria then strangled the nun's head to death. To eliminate traces, Maria put the nun's head in a sack and placed it in the cellar's coffin. The next day, Maria attended the funeral of Marcello and his grandmother. During the funeral procession, Maria accidentally saw the hand of the gravitiger blacken from burns. She who saw it was scared and ran away from there. When Maria runs she falls and realizes that God will not forgive all her actions. Maria then secluded herself in a cave on the mountain. For three days Mary begged God for forgiveness. And on the fourth day the Lucifer appeared and bothered his mind to repent. Lucifer asked Maria to return to the monastery and become the head of the monastery. And he asked Maria to make rules that made it easier for humans. Maria refuses, but Lucifer shows the torment she gets for refusing what she asks for. Maria was frightened to see that and agreed to Lucifer's request. The next day, all the nuns picked up Maria at the cave. The nuns made Mary head there, and they would obey all the rules that would be given to them. Maria changed all the rules there and required them to party, drink and love one another. But apparently, it was a dream from Maria because she was lying in her room for a month because of illness. Due to her declining health, Maria finally died. And, this movie, the ends. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.